Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, VisionRecordingStudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel, and this is video number four of the AudioSchoolOnline.com mixing contest. Um, if you don't know what this is, and this is the first time you're watching uh, the video from this series, go back to my YouTube channel, check out the playlist called Mixing Contest, and you'll see the first three videos where I'm walking you through um, how I'm mixing this song section by section, and ultimately we'll enter this mixing contest and uh, we'll see what happens. So in this uh, video, we're gonna take a look at bass guitar and the electric guitars, and then we'll move on to another video. So um, in this uh, section here, let's take a look at our bass. And we're just gonna <clears throat> solo up our bass with our drums here. Here's kind of our finished bass sounds with drums. Okay, pretty standard stuff. So the first plugin we're using is the Tape Machine by Slate Digital. On 15 inches per second. Over to the Virtual Console Collection. Again, on the Neve setting. Okay, and over to the Neve 88RS channel strip. So here we are doing a little bit of a low roll off, low cut about 30 hertz, and a high cut off at about 13K. Our gain again, or excuse me, our compression, um, it has a pretty, uh, I'd say medium slow release to kind of let the, the, the bass sustain. Fast attack, so we push it back into the mix from a 3D perspective back with the drums, four to one ratio, and we're only compressing here about less than 3 dB, because we're gonna follow this up with another compressor. And there's no EQ right now, although I might add a little bit of 700 hertz or so just to uh, bring the fingers out. Let's take a listen. Or the Neve. It's before. After. Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of compression here. You can see about 3 dB, no big shakes here. Okay, and then from there, I'm following it up with a compressor, the Universal Audio DBX160 compressor. This thing sounds amazing on bass. I love it. Again, just did a very light compression with the channel strip. Now we're going to follow it up with a little bit more heavy compression just to bring out some more tone out of this bass. Um, not really, you know, again, the, the bass isn't super dynamic anyway. You could see the, the waveform up here. It's a little dynamic, but it was probably compressed on the way in. So I'm just going to do about 3 to 5 dB of compression just to add some color to this. can't see here, three to four, maybe five dB of compression. It's before. Okay, so the compressor really brings out the uh, the fingers a little bit more here, a little bit more in the upper mid range, um, around that seven to eight hundred hertz range. I, I turned up this bass to exaggerate it a little bit so you can hear it. It's it's fairly subtle, but it's definitely there. It just kind of tightens the bass up, kind of brings it forward a little bit for in the higher frequencies, so you can hear it cut through the mix a little bit more, which will be important when we start bringing all the guitars in. So that's what I did with the bass. No big shakes nothing out of control. So now let's talk about the first two electric guitars quickly in this video. So the first two electric guitars here, Guitar 1 DI and Guitar 2 DI, these came over as direct tracks, direct uh, direct signal tracks with no amp. It needed, it needed some kind of an amp sim. So let's start with, what do we list? Let's uh, find that section here. At the end here, let's just loop this section where these two guitars come in. Again, I got one pan hard left, one pan hard right. They're playing the same exact part. They are just... Um, needed some kind of an amp sim. So here's what we got, the finished sound. OK, 
Okay, so that's kind of our finished sound, and I'm still tweaking this, but this is the general direction we're going to go in. So I did the same thing on both left and right guitar, obviously. So what I use for my amp sim is I'm using the Universal Audio Marshall 1959 uh, Super Lead. Um, this is a great, great plug-in. If you have Universal Audio, you may want to consider getting the Marshall Collection, which has this, the Blues Breaker, and I believe the Silver Jubilee amplifier in it. Um, and so I'm just using the same plug in on both guitars, but just picked a different Mikey configuration just to give a little bit different tone so it doesn't sound exactly the same. Um, and I'm not even sure that I'm absolutely going to go with this particular sound. It's going to be a Marshall, but it may not be this dirty. When I bring in the rest of the mix, I'll have to tweak it, but this is the general idea. These tracks were DI tracks, so we need to go ahead and we need to get an amp on there. So I'm using the Marshall, and I'm not using a ton of gain, um, just a little bit of gain. Okay, so pull a little bit of high end out. It's a little bit, a little bitey for me right now, but we don't have the rest of the mix in. So once the rest of the mix starts to come together, we may find that we need to uh, bring in some more, some more highs back out. Okay, so we're going to the same signal chain. We're going from the Marshall to the Slate tape machine to the virtual uh, console collection. Again, to keep the whole mix cohesive and sounding like that Neve vibe. And then once again to the 88RS channel, 88 channel strip by Universal Audio. Again, doing about a 90 hertz uh, low cut filter here. Um, again, compression, only doing a very slight amount of compression because we're going to follow this up with another compressor as well, which I'll show you in a second. We have a quick release, two to one ratio. We'll just dial the threshold into taste. Uh, and there's no EQ on this because I'm just using the EQ from the Marshall amp um, as opposed to using it on the channel strip. So here's kind of what we have. Okay, so we're doing about 3 dB of compression. And then from there, we're going to go over to... The Waves CLA-3A compressor to do a little bit more heavy compression on this. And again, to add some character to these two guitars, because these are the two foundation guitars throughout the song where they're playing the rhythm sections. And I wanted to give this a little bit of tone and color. When we take a look at the rest of the electric guitars, you're going to notice that the only compression I'm really using is on the, Neve, on the Neve channel strip. And I'm using the CLA-3A on these two guitars just to separate these things from a tonal perspective to make these sound a little bit more unique. So here's what we have here. We're probably doing about three to five dB of compression. And let me bring them both up on both left and right so I can bypass them together so you can hear what the effect of these two compressors do. So here is before. Okay, so again, it gives a little bit more presence in the high end and just kind of tightens it up and makes it a little bit more sustainy sounding. Again, it's subtle. It's not really mean to squash this a lot because electric guitars in general already have compression on them. We're getting some compression naturally from the Marshall plug-in. Distorted guitars, you already have some compression happening there. And we're just touching it up with the Neve 88 RS and then following it up with the CLA-3A compressor and just a little bit of compression along the chain in three different places from the amp to the Neve to the Wave CLA-3A. You get a nice 
uh, a nice colored tone that has some character, but doesn't sound like it's overly squashed and really overly compressed. Okay, so those are the two electric guitars that are throughout the rest of the song. So now come back for the next video. We will take a look at the rest of these electric guitars, and then we'll start moving on to the uh, to the organs and the um, and the vocals, and we'll start getting close to uh, wrapping up this mix. So I hope this video was helpful. For more tips, tricks, concepts, training around everything home recording, be sure to head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you want more information about my mixing and mastering services, you can always head out to Vision Recording studios.com so until the next video this has been dave with home recording made easy.com and i will speak to you guys all soon take care